Hey guys, this is Lee, and in this video, I'm going to do a box opening of a brand new Extreme Daggerboard from AeroSouth Technologies. Sailing World Magazine is coming out with a new article written by Chad Gillis. He's going to be writing about new technologies being developed by Far Sails and AeroSouth Technologies for our venerable 60-year-old sunfish. World sailing coach and top sailor Larry Suter is going to be doing some of the sailing and evaluating the boat with the new blades and sail. And if you wanted to know anything more about AeroSouth Technologies or FAR Sails, I'll leave a link down below. Now these technologies, they are not class legal and they are not class legal for racing. However, it's exciting that we're going to get new opportunities to put new equipment on the boat since they designed a racing sail with a window and the new dagger board. It's been a long time and it's about time we have something new. So I'm lucky enough to get the dagger board sent by Kent Meiskades, the president of AeroSouth Technologies. I haven't opened it yet and I'm gonna share the opening with you so we could reveal how this new extreme dagger board looks. I'm pretty excited to share this with you. I also made a video of the rudder from AeroSouth Technologies. You could check that out on my channel. Before we get to the unboxing, if you could please unbox that like button and subscribe to the channel. It helps out the channel a lot and I appreciate it. The latest dagger boards are fiberglass dagger boards that this is kind of beat up, but they kind of look like this. This one has a hole in it just for the handle. And the newer fiberglass one is a, a GRP one. And it kind of looks like this. It gets beat up here too. But these are the racing boards. They're pretty nice. Laser Performance also has a wooden board that's shaped like this. But I don't have that one. Now Arrow South, what they do is they use hydrodynamic engineering and aerodynamic engineering principles to increase the efficiency of the blades and to reduce drag and hopefully pointing ability. That's their goal and they've been pretty successful with the rudder so far. So it's gonna be uh, pretty exciting to open up this guy. So get my trusty scissor and it's kind of a, I don't know how to open this. Packing nice. Protective. So basically, this is. Sapel or Sapelli mahogany board has a stopper. This is the four with the with the bump with the bumper, and this is the blade. The main difference would be the narrower profile down on the lower half of the dagger board. It's noticeably narrower here from fore to aft. And it's like the rudder, it's definitely thinner. It's nice, nice and thin. It's a nice finish on it. It's beautiful.
I do not have a measurement jig, but I could tell you right now, this will fit in a measurement jig when you go to a, a sunfish class event, especially in North Americans or Worlds, they have these jigs that you have to put the dagger board in. However, since this is not supplied by the builder, it's not going to be glass legal, but it definitely is going to be similar size. So let's go with the handle. And I'm sorry, I don't, I don't have a, a nicer looking dagger board, but you get the idea. Okay, so put up against here. The dagger board will go this way. So this is the this is the aft part, and this is the forward part. So this is both the forward parts. So this is a swept back lower half while the, so this is swept back here. And on the older board, this has straight. The lengths are comparable. The AeroSouth rudder, I don't have a, a tape measure with me. The AeroSouth rudder might be a few millimeters longer. Now the newer dagger board, the GRP dagger board, there is no hole here. This is the forward edge and the length there. Maybe a quarter inch, maybe a quarter inch longer. Let's see, I'll move about an inch on the bottom. It's about there. I'm not going to give you definite measurements. This is about an inch on the end. It's about twice as twice as thick. So the old dagger board, it's about a centimeter thick. And here, we're like a half a centimeter. There's a noticeable difference in the thickness. So let's go about me midway. Midway, or about a little bit more than a centimeter. Midway, about the same point. You're about a centimeter. Centimeter thick, you probably can't see that. But thinness, you, you can notice. You can definitely notice. So this really looks like a, a propeller on an airplane or a wing. If you go flying, kind of looks like a, like a wing. Which this one looks too. But this is more of a legacy board and it's an offshoot of the Barrington board. I don't have my wooden Barrington boards with me. So you're not seeing that. But this one is, is a new design, designed by Aero South Technologies. And their mission basically is to design these blades uh, to make them faster point higher and with less drag when I spoke to Kent uh, that's what they really go for they, they want a, something that can make your sunfish go faster and easier and more fun to sail because it's always fun to be able to go faster with less effort it's a beautiful uh, dagger board it seems slightly lighter the finish is is beautiful it's thinner and I can't wait to get this out on the water. It's uh, the beginning of February and we just had a blizzard in New York. I don't know when I'm gonna be sailing this anytime soon. So hopefully in a couple of weeks, pretty excited about it. So if you have any comments on this new dagger board or the old dag board, or should we keep the Barrington board? Leave a comment down below. I read all the comments and I'd love to hear from you. I'll get on the water and uh, test this bad boy out, this beautiful dagger board, and I'll make a video and give you a report on it as soon as I possibly can. So if you got any value from this video, please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. And also hit that notification bell so you'll be informed of when I come out with a new video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the water.